Those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. Now, can you or can you not? No, you just want to sit on the sideline and talk about other people, or can you step up? Can you step up? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I got my man, Game Time Brian, man. What's up, Game Time? How are you doing, man? What's up, man? I just got back in the gym, man. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm I'm trying to lose this belly I put on, but I'm doing good, man. Oh, I'm man. doing good. Okay. I hear we're talking linebackers today. We're talking definitely linebackers about the ones that they brought in and ones that maybe they should bring in as well. Um, you were doing an hour and a half live stream earlier. What was the topic? I'm sorry. I was looking at the sun. See, I allowed. I kept getting... I kept getting uh, the fans, the su subscribers. They wanted to do their own mock drafts. So we what I did was... We got our own thing. Ba -diddly 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 -diddly. I let them do all the picking. I would uh, put up polls about position, and I did another poll. I did about a 1,000 polls. We were on there for an hour and a half. They had a blast. It was fun. Okay. So. Well, you know, I, I have to commend you, man, because you are shooting up with the numbers, man. You are 70, over seven. I'm over seven thousand three hundred, baby. I'm like, what the, what the hell is he doing, man? You, you trying you to pass going? me? I'm trying to catch you. You're just leaving me in the dust. Shh, You'll be at two hundred thousand before I'm at a eight 20. years. I know. Okay? I'm playing with you. I'm eight with you. long years to get there. Okay. I've been at it. I was thinking just real quick before we get into the linebackers. Mm -hmm. I started basically. Remember, we were trying to get to three hundred by. Hall, Hall of fame. fame, right? End of Hall of Hall Fame. Hall of Fame was when? That was August, August. 2nd or something? Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm averaging 1,000 subscribers a month. Okay. You figure wow. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Right? We're over. Okay. It, and I'm at 7,300. I like where it's going, man. The, okay. the Godfather has, has taught me well. <laughs> Thank you. Part of Cowboys Mafia. <laughs> oh, yeah, stay tuned for that. We're trying to run the business Bow. here. We're just trying to run the business here. Do we have a misunderstanding here? Okay. You sound a little Mike Tyson ish. I broke oh. my back. Oh, I thought my I was Tony Soprano broke. here. Okay, oh, yeah, I guess I I'm not Italian. I, I, hey, Pazano. Okay. I okay. make this. Okay. I call the shots. All right. All right. So, anyway, go ahead. All right. So, we got the Cowboys Mafia. Okay. All right. So, How you doing? we seem to be looking like we are definitely trying to fill needs um for me my plan is i hope that we just don't draft guys that are injured guys that are coming off of injury the cowboys they love shopping at the scratch and dent pile i i believe that they'll go offensive linemen first round and i think that maybe they'll look at the linebacker second round and maybe running back at third what do you think about that well, you know what I think. I, I want to trade out of the I'm first asking. round. I want to trade out of the first round. But, you know, if Man. your boy, I did but, but, a mock uh, uh, earlier. Bro, if uh, Troy Faltano's there, you have to take him. You could always trade a little bit from the second round to drop down a little bit. But it's harder because everybody wants that fifth-year option. That's why trading in the first round from up you know, is always more enticing. I'm just scared but of yes. second-round picks, bro. Just stay away from Peyton Wilson. That's the only linebacker that's had 10, 11 surgeries in his, in, in, oh, uh, between high school and college. That's the guy who is the highest upside, but he could be an so issue. So you're telling me we're drafting him, huh? Well, it, he's going to be the highest guy on their board. If he makes it to 56, I think that's okay. where we're at. I, I, want you to um, think, I want you to think about this for a second. Sean Lee drafted mm -hmm. with knee injuries. Jalen Smith, Jalen Smith, knee injury and drop foot, and gave him a bogus contract. <laughs> Leighton Vander Esch, neck injuries. I broke my neck. My neck is three broke. major. You know, three big picks. Okay? They're not doing it this time. Three big picks of guys that have all been injured players at linebacker. I got, I okay. got the answer for you, but okay. See, so what are we talking about? Let's right, let's so, get into the. These are the ones that I believe have been in, and correct me if I've been wrong. Edrin Cooper from Texas A and M, number one linebacker on the board. Period. Okay. End of story. Won't be there when we draft the second round. Maybe. Not Maybe? if we. 
Well, if we drop down out of the first or maybe drop a couple of times, that's where I'm getting to. But we're not here to talk about so my captain trade high second down round. strategy. Yeah, he'll be in the uh, – and he, uh, I don't think he's going first round. There's a slight chance, but I think he's going in the 30s or 40s. Okay. How about the Cowboys move up and get him from the later second no, round? No, we can't afford to do that, Mark. We have no ammo. Our team has left us – Empty in the cupboards as far as talent, as far as to replace everybody that we lost. We can't afford to give any more picks away. Okay. Peyton Wilson. Sorry. Wilson! Wilson! Peyton Wilson may be the most talented guy, but he's had 10 or 11 surgeries oh, since high shit. school, Mark. Okay, so he'll dra- the Cowboys will draft him. Well, he's going to be there most likely because everybody's going to stay away from him like the plague. And there might be a team like the Eagles who have a shit ton of picks who might drop on, on him, and that would be good. But uh, I would stay away, Dallas. Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. Please stay away. I keep Trayvon Jerry Jones in Wallace? a closet. Who? Tre- uh, Trevlin, Trevlin Wallace, Kentucky? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That's the Trevin Wallace is my – obviously, Edger and Cooper is a, is a pipe dream if we're sticking and picking, right? If we're mm-hmm. going to trade back like I want, then it opens up a lot of possibilities. But if we're just calling – a Trevin Wallace, Mike Zimmer loves him. Just give you a little inside insight on that. He is a unbelievable attacks the ball. He is a physical player. Fit will fit unbelievably. You will love a Trevin Wallace. You will love him. So, okay, is he a run stopper? Yes, he's a well. I mean, I'll give you a little bit of a little something something on him. He's six one two forty, about two thirty seven. Uh, his dense, compact linebacker and exceptional mass and proportional length has sideline-to-sideline side range and closing explosiveness in pursuit. Can tackle runners like an apex predator with his arm reach. He has long arms. Um, mm-hmm. With his combined leverage and length, the combat control second. So he can get, I mean, he can handle the second level block by the offensive lineman. He flashed the ability to sift through congestion and navigate to the ball. Love Trevin Wallace out of Kentucky. That would be a dream scenario if we could end up with him. Hmm. Well, and he's and he's not your first couple guys, you know? He's not everybody's cup of tea. But for Mike Zimmer, yes, it's I love him, love the player. Love him, love him. Okay, so um, Junior Colson. Love him as well. Um, Big guy. He's he's a bigger guy out of Michigan, 6'2", about 240. Um, Smooth, explosive athlete. He's more of a downhill type guy, just a pure run stuffer. Not the athlete that Trayvon Wallace is, but a bigger thumper. Mm -hmm. Like coming downhill, which is not bad. Give me one of those two, and we we can win some games with that. So... I'm good um, with that. Jordan McGee? He, McGee? J- Jordan McGee? I don't know much about Jordan McGee. Let me look him up, and uh, I'll tell you uh, what they say about him. I think that's Jordan the- McGee. Oh, linebacker at a temple. Mm-hmm. Two, yeah, he's he's a... Uh, no, thank you. 6'1", 228. We got that guy uh, when, in the Marvin Overshone. He's kind of a, mm-hmm. a slighter guy. Okay. I don't think we need that. We need somebody who's going to assist in the run stopping. And I'm not saying he can't, but no, no, thank you. Okay. So I think that's the one that they brought in. Ones that they probably. Oh, did they should. bring in? Okay. I, I think that's he did. I, I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, Nathaniel Watson, Mississippi. Linebacker, Mississippi State. Mississippi. Really like this kid. 6'2, 235. Good Again. Size. I like the player. Uh, I believe they did bring him in. A little birdie. Uh, I believe they brought him in uh, okay. to give him a look see in case we don't get a junior Colson, Trevin Wallace, Edger, and Cooper. He's an option later in the draft. He's you have to proportion where your linebackers are. Depending how the trades happen, you may be forced if you don't get a trade to go defensive tackle. Mm-hmm. And then you have a guy like a Nathaniel Watson who's not expected to go before the 250s area. So mm-hmm. then you you know that you can take him around earlier because we're in what we call purgatory, Mark. We're at the end of every round. Yeah. Most, you know, and it's basically purgatory. So 
Good guy to know for late rounds, people. Tyron Hooper. Tyron Hopper is another guy I really like. He's not as um, he's not as big as Trevin Wallace, but he's very good. He was a 30 visit. He's six one two thirty. Hopper is athletic in the mold of a modern linebacker. Uh, innate play. He has innate playmaking ability. Uh, mm-hmm. And he's a difference maker in the middle of the defense. Um, he hasn't. Um, he hasn't had a lot of play. He went to the University of Missouri. He has a. He has a good team. Be, uh, he had a good team around him at Missouri. So it'll be interesting how he he goes from that. Almost mm-hmm. like the Georgia players. He really was good at Missouri. You pull him out of there and put him in the NFL. I'm curious to see how he does, but. You would need to take him by the third or fourth round at the latest. Third round, I'm saying. Okay. Really right. like Tyron Hopper as well. Um, did I say Jalen Ford? Uh, no, you didn't say Jalen Ford. Another big guy like a junior Colson. Actually a little bit bigger. He's like 6'2", 243. Again, he's a thumper out of Texas right down the street at the University of Texas. Uh, another guy. And it, are you telling me that all these guys – have been brought in? No, no. I think these well, are Well, this, no. That... I did see he was a 30 visit. Jalen well, Ford okay. was a 30 visit. So okay. it seems like what they're doing, Mark, and they're smart, is they're getting a, like top of the line guys, and like, you know, the lower, couple of the yeah. guys, middle, and then later in the round. Mm-hmm. They're doing a very good job with the linebackers. Okay. I like Jalen Ford. And I think uh, John Trey Hunter. John Trey Hunter. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Let me see what I have on him. Let me find him just a sec, people. He's down. He's another guy that's late. Mm-mm. John okay. Trey Hunter. Yes. Georgia State, 6'2, 240. Um, don't know much about his draft profile. Um, so you're going first look at him. He's six two two forty. He's a senior. Uh, he's looking at about like you said. Uh, like we said, Nathaniel Watson is about two fifty. He's mm-hmm. around a two seventy mark as far as Damn. players in this draft. So you figure he's a late round, maybe a free agent possibility. So they're doing their due diligence. If he does, if he goes undrafted, expect John Trey Hunter. To be uh, a UFFA, or I guess that's what it is, right? Unrestricted free agent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And so, so they're doing their due diligence. They're well, hitting all so. the levels of the draft. Well, they definitely were with running backs. We got, we're bringing in. Okay, you know, we know our thirty visits are leading us to yes. the players that they like, and we had I think eight running backs yesterday. And I think that's nine linebackers. So you know, they're definitely looking to get. I would one like of most those of them. You'd like most but I'm of with them. you, Peyton Wilson. Who are, um, let who, who are the, your top two? Well, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say Edger and Cooper. Obviously, Edger and Cooper is the number one linebacker. But again, if we do what I want to do, right, uh, and trade down, mm-hmm. he may or may not be a possibility for us. But I think the best in where we're going to take him would be a Junior Colson or a Trevin Wallace. I don't think Jeremiah Trotter Jr. Eagle fans, you can relax. Mm-hmm. I don't think a Cowboys are in on him. He's a shorter guy, six foot two twenty eight. I don't know why. He reminds me a lot of the University of Missouri guy that went to the Kansas City Chiefs. His name is slipping me, but he kind of reminds me of him. Um, Put it in the comments if you guys remember who I'm talking about. The Kansas City Chiefs got a guy, sideline to sideline, but short. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. I Zimmer likes a bigger guy, right? He's almost like Parcells. Remember Parcells yeah. didn't like uh, Dexter Coakley or mm-hmm. Dat Win. Remember he, but and then he, and then he came to love him. So, okay, Junior Colson, Trevin Wallace, Tyron Hopper, Jalen Ford. Those are guys you could get in the. Third round to fifth round. Those are my guys. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds like a winner. Um, you excited about that? Or what? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, I, we just need listen, one. We just we, need one. If we get a halfway one. decent one right now, then our linebacking core, core 
will be better than what it's been. Better than what it was last year. Last year, you know, we, we didn't have Overshone. We had Damone yeah, Clark and then Leighton Van Der Esch only played yeah. like five games. And you think about the year before, we had Van Der Esch, we had Damone Clark, who was coming off of spinal surgery, basically having his back fused. And we had um, Anthony, uh, shit, Barr. The, uh, uh, Anthony Barr, you know, with yeah, the bad yeah, ACL yeah. and old as shit. Yeah. So um, I'd say we were definitely in better shape in that position. Of course, you know, Cowboy fans, I, I will say that this has been the longest that I've kind of gotten a lot of venom from a lot of Cowboy fans that are literally fed up. You know, it's mm. it's kind of crazy. You know, here it is. We're two and a half weeks away from leaving for the draft, man. And everybody is still pissed off. And, I mean, listening to uh, Stacy Schubert basically saying, you know, I'm going to find other things to do. I'm not wasting my time with the games and things like that. She's like, I'll listen to you guys yeah. and stuff. But, you know, I'm just not tripping my emotions. And there's a lot of fans that feel that way. The Cowboys really need to do something to turn this around. Your final thoughts? Um, my final thoughts is the Cowboys put us in a position – to where the draft is not going to be the end-all, be-all for us. That's why I keep saying trade out of the first round, regardless mm -hmm. of who's sitting there. Obviously, if a Troy Fontano's there, then we have to take him. <coughs> we need, if we can get a left tackle, guaranteed lock guy, mm -hmm. he ain't going to be there, people. Outside of that, we need to bail. We need to get multiple picks, and we need to address a lot. Um, this team did not do what they were supposed to do as an organization to fill some of the holes going into the draft. So we mm -hmm. need to do drastic measures. So uh, I'm disappointed in the team. Okay. Uh, they're taking it out on the fans. That's what they're doing. Sorry. Well, and they're taking it out on the fans. Well, and some of the talking heads are taking it out on us YouTubers um, as well. But we'll, we'll talk about that at another time. Yeah, stay All tuned, right. people. So uh, game time, uh, what you got coming? When, when are you going live again? Uh, live will be tomorrow afternoon in my lunchtime chat. I'm back to work. Uh, I do have a video coming out tonight at eight thirty. Okay, but the, but then again, I don't know when you're uploading this. <laughs> um, <laughs> it will. I'll be sending it to you right away, okay. there, buddy. I'm gonna. Okay. You know. It, it you probably, know what, people? You can look for it. Yeah, you'll see this on a Tuesday afternoon. So enjoy. Okay. Well, it'll probably be to you in about half an hour. Well, there you go, buddy.